Hi friends, with the request of so many of my colleagues, today I like to tell you regarding research publications. So research means there is some innovative ideas and some innovative things that should definitely useful for the mankind and that should definitely useful for the world. So for small small research for small small things those things may not uh, get benefited by the huge mankind and those uh, small research things may not be useful for changing the bigger setup or the bigger environment then how can we show the same thing to the world in this thing the research world created one very good thing called publications so we can so we can show our small innovative ideas to the world by using the publications that means this small innovation may not um, may not be um, actively implemented in some of the industries but we can show the same thing with with the previous results we can show the better uh, better results by our innovative things by using publications that means we can show our small innovative things to the world by using publications so the, this these are the call research publications so we will do some work we will do some research and we will publish the things so what are the various publication items to show to showcase our innovative ideas and coming to the publication types types of research publications there are four major types of research publications one is journal second one is conference third one is book chapter and fourth one is direct books so coming to journals journal means we need to send our paper according to the journal's specifications maybe he will say such that abstract should be there some methodology should be there some introduction should be there and some conclusion should be there and results and discussion should be there so he may say he may say according to the his standards so once he has said like that then we will we will frame our work according to that and we will send to the concerned journal and the journal will take up our paper and they will send the paper to some reviewers where the reviewers come may give the comments maybe in one or two weeks or maybe some months also and they will give the same comments to the editor of the journal and the editor of the journal will give the comments same comments he will pass the comments to authors to ours then we will modify our paper our manuscript according to that and then we will send we will resend the paper i will or we will resubmit the paper to the journal again and the journal one again sent to the reviewers once the reviewer satisfied then our paper will be accepted so the whole scenario will take around uh, minimum to minimum 2 months to around 6 to 8 months in some journals it may be one year also so that is the case in journal publications of course the journal publications are very predominantly used term and it's it has a very good weightage so coming to the second thing second one is conferences it has some lesser weight compared to journals and the conferences means there is some university or some institution or some organizations will conduct the conference so the dates will be fixed all dates will be fixed the last date of sending the paper and the date of acceptance and the date of conference everything will be fixed so our job is to send the paper within the last date of sending the paper once we have sent that we will definitely get the acceptance on the date of acceptance whether it will be accepted or rejected that information will be expected at that date only that's the case in conference so conference will take hardly one to two months not more than that maybe some international conferences conducted in foreign countries it may take around six to eight months also for getting the result 
so that is the case with conferences so in when compared to conferences journals are better and coming to book chapters book chapters means one author is ready to write the book but he he want to he wants to increase the weight of the book that means not weight means not normal weight but he want to include some more research items or some more data then he will call for book chapters sometimes the even the publisher will call for the book chapters that means he will collect all chapters and he will club up clubbed up and he will give the he will prepare as the book and the final one is the book directly book you can directly write the book to any of the publishers so these two are based on the invitation only of course these two are on top range that means if you write a book means that gives you the top identification and book chapter is the next identification journal is the next identification and conference is the last identification of these four things so these are the main types of research publications and coming to the next thing standards of publications so how can we decide the standards of the publications in general science citation index so all scientific journals engineering journals math i mean management journals all these journals will will be clubbed together and those the best of them will be listed as science citation index and this will be accepted by the throughout the world so once it is the journal is in science citation index and your paper will be published in the those journals then that will be very good thing for you and that will be renowned in every country almost all countries that will be renowned and those will be called like this only science citation index journal simply so this is the topmost range as per now and the second next one is science citation index expanded so this is the second type of second category of standards of publications so this is second type and the third type is scopus type of journals and the fourth one is google scholar all these things are journals only so these are these different standards if sco if you publish a normal journal it will definitely catch google eye of the google scholar that means google scholar means a journal is under google scholar means it's almost normal journal only that means very even very small journals will be having place in google scholar and the next one item is scopus nowadays the scopus is become very tough and the scopus journals are becoming very the number was reduced like anything so now the scopus journals are popular but in as per electrical engineering journals are concerned all sci journals come under sci and also scopus and all sci journal come under scopus also in general in electrical engineering journals are concerned but that may not be case with some other journals maybe in electrical things also a journal is having sci index they may not be scopus also okay that is the thing so we we may not say which one is the better one but in general sci is the first category sci is the second category scopus is third category of course all journal come under google scopus so these are the basic standards of publication some more standards are also there but i we can't i can't categorize those those standards so we need to do some more research on those things so next thing is various publishers so what are the different publishers so different publishers are institute of electrical and Ele electrical electronics engineers itrp institute of engineering and technology iit london elsewhere springer taylor and francis says publications emerald engineering publications willy and sons publications Korean Institute of Electrical Engineering publications there are so many publishers in the world existed but these are the main publishers for as for electrical engineering journals are concerned electrical and electronics even for computer science also so these are the major 
publishers so i like to i will give you the each and example for each and every publisher with some, some journals of course the publisher journal there is a difference between publisher and journal for example elsewhere elsewhere may have five or six elsewhere may have five journals from electrical background and these five journals may be a ca may not be a ca or may be scopus or may not be scopus so all these things will be there so we need to identify which publisher is better and which standard is better as per our our scope of journal that means in electrical engineering there may be very less sci journals if i may not publish in sci journals i can go ahead with scopus journal in, the, in those things also i need to see the publishers so these are the different category different uh, combinations of this there are publisher is one thing standard of journals is on the another thing so the next one is yes facts frequently asked questions for a journal if we publish a paper in a journal what we have to do we need to see first the scope of the journal so i can't publish my paper in a mechanical engineering paper unless i can add some mechanical content in it so we need to see the scope of the journal and abstract and indexing we need to see the abstracting and indexing that means whether it is under scopus or whether it is under sei or sei we need to see all these things if i like to publish in my journal in sei i need to see the sei journal otherwise i don't need to prefer it next view more on journal insights this is a very good property in elsewhere where you can see in which in which time you will get the the least time you will get the first review maybe it may be for some journals it may be 2 weeks for some journals it may be 5 weeks for some journals it may be 10 weeks also so that depends this can be seen in uh, elsewhere journals only and all these things i will i will show you in one more video and the next one is guide for others so how he will guide you how which format you need to use and how you need to submit how uh, and how how can you create your account all these things will be explained by the journal in general a guide for others is there or instructions to authors in some journals he may say that instructions to others also next submission of the manuscript you need to know how to submit the manuscript and once that was over you need to see track your paper so you need you can track keep on tracking your paper whether first day, first review will come or second review will come those things will be there so these are the main frequently asked questions for a journal so how we in which journal we need to publish and once we send the paper how can we see it all these things will be there in concern journals next for a conference how can we proceed with a conference for a conference first we need to see the scope of the conference abstracting and indexing has to be seen of course for i if you publish if you like to send a paper to IEEE conference that will be published in the IEEE digital library that means that come under that comes under scopus so obviously that is scopus publication of course it's not a scopus journal it says scopus maybe you can call it as conference next guide for authors you need to see and so we in which format you need to send the paper all these things will be there in the guides for authors next submission how to submit the manuscript and track your paper so all these things will be seen whenever you send a paper to the conference of course you need to see the place you need to see the institute in which institute it is having if you like to see any good places or if you like to see any good institutions so you need to see all these things but these are the primary primary things that we we need to see so these are the entire discussion regarding research publications thank you for getting 500 subscriptions and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and colleagues and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and if and please click on the bell button so that you will get the notifications thank you thank you very much